Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to J Caliber plays GTA. I know we never thought this would happen uh, but it did and it has and uh, today we are, we're doing like MTV Cribs but GTA, GT Cribs, something like that, something something along those lines and um, yeah so today I thought I'd take you around for the for the tour of my uh, my facilities, my businesses, my vehicles more importantly because to be honest with you, everybody's got a bunker, everybody's got, you know, there are other dodgy businesses that if I mention on YouTube this video I'll never see the day of light. And, um, but yeah, so I thought I'd show them off and then show off my car collection. So I'll put timestamps down to show when I'm actually going to show the cars, but for now I will show you my businesses, so we'll head off. Uh, just for reference, this is... So, starting off with our most northern business that we have, like almost every other GTA player on earth, I have the Pixel Pete's Arcadia because <laughs> because it was free. Um, that That is why I have Pixel Pete's Arcadia. It's a beast in all its shining glory. One of the nicest looking cars I've ever been given for free. And uh, we'll go inside and have a look, just in case you uh, actually want to buy Pixel Pete's Arcade. Now, uh, I don't know why, because I've been here two times now to consider setting up, but this is the arcade as you get it, when you start, and uh, it's a dump. Interestingly enough, when you do the little um, intro, Jimmy, Michael's son from the main story, works here, and uh, this all kind of plays into the Duggan thing, which is probably why uh, the story repeated itself for me, because obviously I've done the Duggan story with the, um, with the casino, doing all the casino missions. And uh, you come through here, Lester puts a coin in this machine and uh, opens up and yeah, this is basically where you will run the operation to do the casino heist, which is one of the biggest paying out heists you can do. I have done absolutely nothing with this as of yet. You can have all sorts in here. It can look really baller, really cool, but as it currently stands, my character is broke because I've bought basically loads of businesses while they were on sale <laughs> so that I could so I've got everything really while it's dirt cheap because uh, technically speaking you don't have to use it until you set them up so you might as well buy them when they're cheap but we'll go on to the next business this is Pixel Pete's Arcadia the most northern business you can have now we've got possibly my favorite business hoping that we don't get griefed here uh, I've made a ridiculous amount of money from this business and this is my cocaine lockup oh there's YouTube removing the video from viewership and uh, this has to be one of if not the best ways of making money in GTA as you can see I've uh, fully upgraded this the only thing I've not done is the security upgrade because 90% of the time it is just cheaper to go and work on it yourself I've made 2.2.9 million from this business and um, the only upgrade I need really is the security upgrade but I probably if I was to get the security upgrade It'd be, it'd be one of them that I do if there's like a deal on upgrades for motorcycle club uh, businesses and potentially for all the locations where you can be required to pick up uh, supplies uh, usually here in the woods is quite a common one just starting fucking points everywhere uh, and over here and there's a few a lot of the Blaine country locations that you get for supplies are very close to here and Los Santos I mean it's it's, it's very close to the middle of the map. It isn't perfect. Obviously, the closer you are to the city, the more expensive the business becomes. Uh, hence why I went for something kind of in the middle, but not something like the business that you can have all the way out here in Blaine Country. And now for the only business you will never, ever enter in the entire time of you owning it. That is your actual micro, my, uh, motorcycle club. Uh, I, I, I really don't understand why they put so much emphasis on people actually you know, buying a motorcycle club uh, and why they even made it a feature. It just feels so completely pointless actually having a clubhouse. You'll never use it. Uh, the only time you do actually use it, unless you want to store motorcycles here, which I, I guess you could do if you really wanted, uh, is coming to buy new businesses. So like I, you know, I can go here, I can check, check on the businesses I currently have and buy new businesses. So you log in to the open road and uh, there's the only business I currently have that's part of the MC club 
um, but you can buy other cocaine businesses, which are the most most profitable. Uh, but as you can see, they are really expensive. I do have one of the cheaper ones, um, and it, it, it is better. And then uh, uh, methamphetamines is your second most profitable. Counterfeit cash is completely pointless, and then you go to weed. Well, counterfeit cash isn't completely pointless, but the profit isn't as high as uh, coke or meth. And now for possibly the coolest business that you can own, but it's kind of only really used for the big heist, but it's not a business. It is my facility. Oh, just, just look at the way. Just look at the way. Facilities were on sale. Literally why I bought it. So I, I bought a facility and the only upgrade that I put in it just because I know that I, I <laughs> just because I wanted it um, for not many other reasons was I bought the orbital cannon upgrade. I'm pretty sure it's through here uh, so that I can actually use the orbital cannon. But for the decent orbital cannon, it's 75, I think it's 75,000. Oh no, $750,000 to fire the orbital cannon uh, to kill someone or potentially fuck it up and not kill them, which would be even more annoying. But it is a very extravagant purchase, uh, to say the least. And now for one of, uh, it is our favorite of people, one of the, the most favorited bunkers you can get, well, businesses even, it is the bunker. It is arguably one of the best businesses that you can buy into other than the actual um, cocaine lockups. Absolutely love the bunker. I've made made decent money off this one. I kind of just bounce between the bunker business and the Wii lockup most of the time. My other business is like my nightclub. Uh, they're useful, but they're just not as straight up as, um, as this. Obviously, I've upgraded my bunker. It was uh, quite an expensive upgrade as well. I think it's like 1.1 something million. That you pay to upgrade that and uh, it is definitely definitely one of the more expensive uh businesses to have but the profit on it's pretty decent like i say 2.1 million nothing mental um i play gta but i don't live for gta and in terms of upgrades i've got just the equipment upgrade i've not done the staff upgrade yet that's probably next on the list so that my profits are much better and in terms of how i run this i just run straight up on um uh creating uh, weapons. I don't have anything invested into uh, research because as it currently stands I'm just about making money. I'm not about creating new weapons or uh, new mods and stuff like that for myself because just not really that interested in them yet. Now for the place where I rest my head. This is where I spawn whenever I log into GTA. It's where I keep my main cars when I'm playing GTA. So like I'll spawn, I spawn in the garage uh, it's the Royal Apartment number 19. So here you've got my my main vehicles, as you would say. So I do have a Dubachi Wagner fully upgraded, turbo, the whole shebang, best wheels I can get on it. Uh, I like it, but I find it a little bit light, so throwing it around some corners, I don't know. I know it's meant to be the best car in the game and all, all that, but I don't really like people telling me what's the best and what I should use. So I like it, but I do trade it out for some other supercars. Uh, I've got the, what's it called? Is it a Shinoma? The Shitaro, the Nagasaki Shitaro motorcycle. Easily the best motorcycle, hands down. I got a Bali 18T, I think that's what the other motorcycle is. It's very good. It's got nothing on that. I absolutely love it. I got a, a Presser Mark II. Doesn't have the rocket mod yet. It's just the, um, just the uh, machine gun mod so far. I, I got this, I can't remember what it's called. It's really good. I, I One of my fastest cars, a Maxwell Vagrant, Vagrant off-road. Brilliant car, absolutely mental off-road, mental on the road. And obviously here we got my Enus uh, Paragon R Armored Sport. Mental car, has machine guns built into it as well. I don't know if you can get any other mods on it or something like that, but really good, absolutely love it. And I've got me Armored Karuma here, which is again a classic, but my only snag with it is how slow it is compared to my other armored car, which is weird now that I think about it. I've got two armored cars in, but obviously that's got the better um, uh, shielding on it compared to the sports car. And uh, we'll go upstairs and look at the apartment now. So this is my apartment. Obviously there's not really much you do with this one. It's very simple. I, I, I don't, I think it is one of the cheapest um, 
I think it's an eight car garage or a, is it a six car garage? Six car garage apartments that you can get. And I don't know. I just like I like the location. It's all right. It, you know, an apartment. You don't spend any time in an apartment, realistically. So I just went for this, and uh, it works a treat. So we'll go down to the garage. We'll get a different car, and uh, we'll go zooming about in something different. So this is my little penthouse that I have. It's uh, it's obviously people going absolutely mental right now, but it's it's all right. I've I've not really done much with it. Realistically, I should spawn here instead i don't know how big the car garage is for it uh, i think you get a decent discount when you've completed the uh obviously you get dope pass sliding doors and stuff like that uh, i think the upgrades become a little bit cheaper when you've done the heist uh not the heist you uh if you do the casino missions for miss baker you get this apartment for free they just give it you uh and it it's pretty cool it's all right i like it it's obviously a lot more baller than the uh my royal apartment that i have and uh, yeah, and here we are at my first business I ever bought. I bought Arcadius uh, as my um, as my CEO business kind of headquarters. And uh, we'll, we'll we'll cut straight to some cars now because everyone loves cars. As you can see, there's an offer on on GTA, and um, they were they were selling off the garages really cheap. So I upgraded to all three stories of the garage you can get. Uh, but that also means that you get so many layers. But yeah, this is uh, this is kind of my my home that I have. Most of these cars that I have, I've actually won off of the Diamond Casino. Um, so this is my... I don't even know what this is. I don't know the names of 90% of the cars here. This is uh, Vincent bison neo sport that is actually really fun i really enjoy that i change out to that sometimes uh i, I think this is the de classy is it a de classy bravado gauntlet classic won that on the spin on the casino this i don't know why i took this i took this off the street and i thought it was really baller lampanti lampadati felon coupe really don't use that i should probably be sold now i bought I, I stole that off the street and then upgraded it right at the start of the game don't know why uh ina stafford sedans won this on the wheel ages ago didn't change the color just fully modded it and it's slow as anything uh this is one of the first cars i ever stole the plista comet sport i kind of like it i like the look of it it's like it's kind of like the porsche 911 kind of like the entry level sports car for a lot of people uh when they get money and then this is one of my favorite cars, the uh, Pegasi Reaper Super. This thing is an absolute monster. Uh, matte black finish. Absolutely love the thing. Really fast. Sometimes use it instead of the um, the Wagner. Just because I prefer it. And like I say, you get three levels uh, per every level. So you get a 1A, 1B, 1C. And uh, this is another one that I won. I'm, I should mention the last car I won as well, the Vapid gb 200 sport actually i bought this when it was on a sale this is why i have no money in the game <laughs> i bought all of my cars i won this at christmas the plista comet safari sport shockingly enough one of my faster cars I, I was actually really surprised at how fast this thing is it is mental how fast it is even on the road this is one of the first cars i ever won the ocelot swinger sports classic another lovely fast car Brilliant. This is the first car I ever won. Hands down, easily the first car I ever won when the casino first opened. The Benefactor Schlagner GT Sport. I will butcher 90% of these names. The only thing I don't like about it is that the best sport, uh, best spoiler you get for it is a little bit ugly. And then uh, this is the starter car that I and myself, like everyone else probably started with, the Anis Elegy Retro Custom thing. I've taken it to Benny's. I don't know when I did that can't even remember and then i had a neon phase i don't know why i bought this monster truck the canis camacho off-road absolute beast but it is actually too big for its own good it gets wedged in things that most off-roaders shouldn't get wedged in and uh i don't know it's a bit of a cool squad car to be fair but it's not that useful and then one of my favorite cars if it was a little bit heavier i'd probably prefer it the progen or prog progen t20 super absolutely love the thing had it done in neon pink i won that as well uh, that was another win off the casino the 4x4 i bought 
and uh, that starter car I have with the orange rims there, that's free for anyone who starts GTA and uh, it's definitely one of the best cars to start off with and then probably move on to the armored Karuma. Moving on, won this, I've not even used it, I just had it put here, the Ocelot Jackal Coupe, won that as a mystery gift from the casino, I'm not too keen on it. Bought this, I don't know why I wanted a muscle car, I didn't have one, the Vapid Dominator Muscle, but I've noticed there's a Vapid Dominator Muscle GTX, I think it is, which is a little bit faster, so I'm probably going to get one of them instead and sell the Dominator. The Uber Match is the on Classic Sport Classics. Uh, this is my fully modded one, but I've actually won another one of these, and that's gone to my backup garage that I have. Uh, they're all right. They're quite fun. Uh, you need one for, I think, a heist. Here's my Declassy Saber Turbo Muscle. Uh, I bought this and I bought the muscle car there and I won this. Oh no, I bought that one. Uh, then this, this was just on offer. I don't know why it's on Warstock Cache. Obviously, the can is messed it off road. Uh, bought that, fully upgraded it. And this is the first car I fully upgraded. I drive a Mini Cooper S in real life. Well, I drove a Mini Cooper S in real life until I wrote it off. So I bought the Weenie Isa Classic and then uh, modded it to within an inch of its life. Well, this is a, this is a sports one. So uh, I bought that when it was on offer. And then I've got my Balti, or Balti, um, what's it called? Pegasi Balti 801RR. Fully modded, easily one of the best race bikes in the game. I've won lots and lots and lots of um, uh, races and stuff like that using that. It's a very good bike. I do, do like it. And here we are inside my office, J Corp. Don't know really why I called it that. Uh, here's my little office. Sometimes it's swimming in money. Right now, not so much. Uh, in terms of the actual businesses I own, I only have the one. I've never, I've not bought a vehicle lockup as of yet, but the La Mesa a vehicle lockup is, it, it's on the list. It's kind of the next thing that I'll be saving up for. I've only got a special cargo uh, warehouse, which is, uh, it's all right. And it's um, this one, it is the convenience store lockup. And uh, holds 16 crates. So it's one of the bigger ones that you get. It's not the, the smallest, it's not the biggest. It's all right. I, uh, I haven't really done any crate missions in a very long time, despite them being profitable to a certain extent. I bought a nightclub just because there was a, there was a deal on like the other week um, for for the nightclub, it was dirt cheap. So, uh, so I bought it. So uh, yeah, this is the nightclub. I've not really played around with this too much. I've only recently got it. Um, the whole club popularity thing's a bit of a ball leg like, to keep on top of and all that shit. So like, it's it's maintaining itself for now, but makes it it brings its own money in, which is handy. You don't really have to put too much in, but like uh, all of your actual GTA YouTubers will tell you, it is better to have all of your other businesses sorted first and then start with this. So there's a, a nifty thirty-seven and a half grand to get. And I've just got the uh, the starter DJ that you get, the European dude, and uh, it's all right. It works, and uh, I'll probably upgrade the DJ at a later point and change him out for someone else to bring the po popularity back up. Apart from that, there's no upgrades to it yet. It's just the, the stock uh, version of itself. I'll probably put a bigger garage in it so I can actually keep my vehicles here because loads of them keep bugging out and coming here for whatever reason. And uh, And yeah. And now we approach my final property, well, business, well, it's not really a business, it's a property. Uh, it is the second ever kind of property of, of slash business property. It's the second ever thing I really bought in GTA ever. And that was this garage. It's a 10 vehicle garage just because I was keeping loads of cars. A lot of them I sold, the ones that I could. And uh, half, this is really where I just get cars sent when I um, I don't know what to do with them or because I've won them on the thing. This is the first ever real car that I got the Weenie I say is the compact. And uh, yeah, I, I ran that for ages just because I had a Mini Cooper in real life. Uh, I won this. I've never really used it, the Dabachi Examplon Coupe. Uh, you can't really sell them either if you've got them on the wheel, which is really annoying. 
Uh, I won the Uber Match uh, Xeon Classic Sport Classic again on the wheel. Because I've already bought one. The other ones I bought one. That one's uh, off the wheel. Which is a little bit annoying. This is one of the fastest cars in the game. The Ocelot uh, XA21 Super. It's very fun. Absolutely loved it. Uh, I just keep it here because I had a lot of supercars lying about and then I sold them. This is one of the stupidest things I've ever done. It's the Weenie IC Classic, uh, sp um, but it's been like fully modded. Like it's got it's got everything on it, and it looks daft. Without further ado, I have been Jay Caliber. Further ado isn't right, but it's what I'm sticking with. I have been Jay Caliber. This has been my kind of supercar collection, if you like. There's some supercars, there's some not so supercars. There's some cars that have been made super by being modded to within an inch of their life. Hence the uh, the mini. Cooper basically and uh, yeah so that does it for this video I just thought I'd do a little cribs just because that's kind of what I felt like doing just about hit 500 hours in the game I'm at 471 at the moment and uh, I've completed the story I'm about 86 percent complete on game uh, completion on the story mode and it's uh, it's been very fun I've uh, I've enjoyed it I really like the game I'm gonna keep grinding out online until I've unlocked absolutely every supercar uh, to the point that I can't store anymore and, uh, and yeah, so I've been Jay Caliber. I will catch you probably later if you subscribe or not so later if you don't subscribe. I don't know. Uh, live on Twitch at the moment, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Jay Caliber. Uh, my live stream schedules on my Discord, which there's links for in the description. Check out my Twitter in the links in the description at Jay Caliber. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.